Hi friends, my name is Pankaj and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel, My Dubai. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the road sign, the different categories and what does these signs really mean. So let's start the video. The road sign could be divided into three different categories. The first one is regulatory signs, which is also known as road law, which are the most important. The second one is the sign which comes under the warning categories. The last one is guide signs. So let's start with the regulatory or the road law signs. Regulatory signs are used to control the extent of the road user. They tell you what you must or must not do. And failure to obey these signs is an offense by law. And these could be further divided into different categories. The number one is control sign, which shows the right of way priority or direction of travel. The second category is mandatory sign, the signs which indicate action that must be taken. Then we have prohibitory signs. These signs indicate prohibitory action or objects. Then we have certain sign which comes under parking control sign. And the last one is freeway control sign, the sign which you will find on a freeway. So in this video, we're going to talk about the regulatory signs and regulatory sign could be in blue and white or red and white in colors. So the one of the categories in regulatory signs is control signs. Basically, these signs tells you who has the right of way or who has a priority or it gives you direction of travels. So this is one of the most common sign, which means you must give way. It could be combined with a pedestrian or cyclist. But if you see this circle and if you are on a road where you have a traffic from the other side, you need to stop and give way to other vehicle. Now the giveaway sign is combined with the pedestrian sign. So this means you must give way to pedestrian. You will usually see these signs near the pedestrian crossing. This is a give way sign plus a cycle sign. So which means you must give way to cyclist. That's basically a no entry sign, which means you must not enter this road. And that's a stop sign, which means you must stop. If you see, if you're driving and if you see this sign, you need to stop your car, no matter what. The blue background and the white arrow or the things give you the direction which you must follow. You don't have any other options. So in this case, this sign means you must go this way. The direction of arrow in, in the way of direction of arrow. The next category is mandatory sign. Mandatory signs are used to indicate to road user action which they must take. It means in other words, you don't have any second option. You have to do it. So this sign means you need to give right. Whereas this sign means you need to give left. So basically the blue background and the white direction give you the directions and you have to follow that. There is no other options. As you can see here, the first sign means ahead only. The second one is turn right only. The last one is pass either way. Either you can take right or left. That's a wrong about sign with the arrow showing the direction in which you need to move. So you need to travel in the direction of the arrow. One of the roundabout rule is that when you're entering to the roundabout, you need to keep in this in the mind that there should not be any car coming from your left or entering from the left because the, the car on the left always has a priority. So if you see any car from the left, you need to stop and give way to the car coming from the left.
these signs usually you will see on a freeway which is which means the minimum speed on the road is 60 kilometers basically when you're driving on a freeway you can't drive below the speed of 60 so this one you have to do it the next on the top one is the maximum speed limit prohibitory sign these signs are used to indicate to road user action they must not or which are prohibited so this sign means you must not turn left and if we avoid any of these signs we are committing a offense whereas this signs means you cannot you, know, you must not turn right you should not take right These signs basically give you the road speed limit. In case if it's written 80, its speed limit is 80. But in case of 120, the speed limit of the road is 120. And you might see the sign with the 60 or 40 as well. Whereas if you see this sign, it means that you must not overtake. Usually you will find this on a curve near the crossing. This signs means that no hazardous material allowed or any truck which is carrying any gasoline or petrol should not enter the road. Whereas this signs means no goods vehicles. You will get a lots of questions uh, related to this. If you see inside, if it's this is a goods vehicle, but you can see this the same sign for the truck as well it, this sign means no pedestrian crossing whereas this sign means no cyclist or cyclists are not allowed to cross the road or drive on the road Whereas this signs means you should not use your horn. Usually you will find this signs near the hospital or near the schools. Whereas this signs means no U-turns. If you see this signs, it means that you cannot take a U-turn. Five point five ton. This signs, if you see in a circle and if it's written T, it means the vehicle exceeding the maximum gross weight indicated are not allowed. So it could be a different figure also inside. Means if your vehicle weight is over than that, you cannot enter into that road. Whereas this signs shows the height of the vehicle which is allowed. The maximum height limit in this road is four point two. The rest of signs will cover in part. To please see the link in the description and if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and comment on the video thank you for watching this video see you in the next video